Boone, your action figure aficionado here, and I am going to bring you a video comparing the standard Kenner Ecto-1 from the Real Ghostbusters line, and this is, yep, yeah, all original stuff here, versus the Joxa Ghostbusters one. Now, the as people may know, the the Joxa was a Argentinian, uh, Argentinian exclusive line, and I've done a couple of videos on some of the figures, and I finally managed to track down and uh, obtain the actual uh, Ecto-1 that goes in that line. For me, this is kind of a grail piece. Grail, I think, is a term used too loosely these days. But this is an extremely rare and uh, hard to just hard to obtain piece in general. I'll break down some of the differences that it has compared to the standard Ecto-1. Now, of course, I'm, I'm going to admit the stickers because the sticker set on the Ecto-1 was released with Ecto-1A, which was the same mold just with a new st sticker set from Kenner. So you see the sticker set and all that. You'll notice, though, that they did incorporate the larger sticker. And I've seen a couple of these, and it was up to wherever the person wanted to put the sticker for the most part, uh, you know, they end up a little bit differently. Um, you'll notice light colorations here, and I'll go into that a little bit later. So that's one of the first things that you'll notice a difference on there. And then comparing the fronts, the Argentina Joxa version has a painted front. And other than that, uh, you know, you use the same molds for everything. Slight variations in materials used and stuff like that you'll see there. The Joxa version comes with the same features with the cable that clamps the ghost, pulls it in. But it did add and improve upon some of the features that Kenner really sorely uh, missed out on in developing their Ecto-1. And they could have put it in at some point. Okay, let's take a closer look at this beauty here. I even have uh, here the instruction pamphlet showing several things and uh, features of of it. I got it kind of it's wrapped up in this plastic right now to just tell keep it safe there. Let's open up the back. This little battery pouch here. We'll go into that in just a minute. Okay, one thing that is on this, even though I could I could attempt replacing this, is this mechanism is broken on the bottom of mine here, and I still am just thrilled to have this piece in its rarity, even with that broken mechanism. So if I want to do this, I just got to go and do this part by hand here, and release the cable clamp. It's not that as long as a the Kenner version either. Now we have our little Ecto-1 Ghost. But you can tell the difference in these guys as well. The Ghost used is the same mold as used with Kenner, as is with all their stuff. This is the typical release right here. Very, uh, Neon type plastic, whereas the Argentina version, the Joxa one, a little bit duller orange. Just a neat little comparison there for them. All right, so you can take the Ghost, it has the same features there, so nothing too much new there. Let's go back to this battery pack. Now, uh, there are some cracks in, in this battery casing, so i got to be careful trying to insert. It basically takes uh, the two double A's, but you'll notice the fit on them is not quite, quite the greatest. So I just don't know if uh, foreign have different... Well, 
it, it, the wiring, I'm tempted to replace the wiring because this keeps happening to me. I've got, I get it to run for a little bit, then it kicks out. But you got a glimpse to hear that it's got a little siren in there and lights. Now, yeah, the alarm is, uh, the siren on here is a little bit uh, uh, annoying in sound, but uh, there's no on-off switch, so you would just basically insert the batteries and keep them with the Velcro tab that they have applied up there. So you can still access the back of this for play. And put the door up. All the normal standard features an Ecto-1 should possess. So you have a yellow light, green light, blue light, and a red light. And that they got the whole system just mounted up in there to give the siren sound and little light colorations plugged in. It's all held in through a little uh, insert that they have on the roof of the vehicle. For those of you that are interested, here's what the box of this looks like. I think it's kind of funny that they have uh, Egon's Ghost here instead of the Ecto-1 Ghost. Advertising that it makes the sounds and flashes lights. And tries to one-up the Kenner one in a couple couple different ways there. Now this was, uh, I believe, uh, let's take a look. Going in further on the box here. Right there, you'll actually see that this was copyrighted in 1992. So that's uh, a couple years after Kenner ended their line and Joxa continued on. So this was just a little glimpse at the Joxa Ecto 1A, technically, as the box states, versus the Kenner Ecto 1. And far as, like I said earlier in the video, Sticker packets are what made the difference between the Kenner Ecto-1 and Ecto-1A. I never had the Ecto-1A as a kid. I really wanted it to get those extra stickers, but I never did get it. I have it now as an adult, but uh, only sealed. So that wouldn't really compare for this video purpose very well. And always remember, if you want to see more of these videos, just like and hit the little bell on the corner of the screen there that'll notify you whenever I do release a new video. I'm hoping to begin to release more and more as I go on here. I'm trying to, uh, I, try, I was trying to adapt to those new uh, COPPA laws that are in effect on toy videos. So we got that going on. And once again, I am Spoon, your action figure aficionado, keeping it mint.